It's the longest intro ever for our pal Jefferson Graham, everybody. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? Hey, good to see you. You look like a guy happy in his uh, world with, uh, is it two guitars or one guitar you have on the wall? There are two guitars behind me and several others on the other side. So if there's time, we'd love for you to favor us with maybe Old Lang Syne or something, you know, something. It's one of my all-time favorite songs. Cool. Oh, here it is. I'm glad that we posted your Substack on the screen now. It's jeffersongram.substack.com. So here's, uh, let me just give you a 10 second little bit of hype because I really like this Substack you do. When you subscribe, which I've done, of course, a, a long time ago, but you get automatically fed to you in your email box, all of these different tips and updates and videos and all the rest and links to his YouTube series, the photo walks YouTube series. So I really recommend it, and I think you'll really enjoy it. And as I say, once you subscribe, it just hits automatically, and it's like uh, it's like the notification bell on our show. If you hit that, it just tells you, hey, the show is on, or there's a new video from the Mark Thompson show. Similarly, uh, he sends you an email, and, and you get it, and you can click on all these great things. So congratulations on great success with that. Thank you. It's really it's been exciting. I left USA Today two years ago, January 4th, and uh, life has been really great. I love working for myself. It's fun. Yeah. Well, we haven't gotten to the fun part yet, but we we like the show is fun, but the trying to get everything up and running is has been a little bit of a heavy lift. But you've been very helpful to us on this show, and we thank you for that. You do something every year, and I'd love for you to do it with us now, which is associated with the the tips, the top three tips, you know, for in this case taking pictures. I wonder if you could share with us some tips top three yeah. for taking good photos okay so Keep, number... keeping in mind that most of us don't have like advanced technologies for no, taking no pictures. it's 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 smartphone stuff it's all okay great smartphone okay so the number one tip and it's really important is keep moving compose the shot and if it, you don't like it that way go that way go that way go left right go up down go uh, tilt the camera down tilt the camera up try every angle possible um I have a problem with the sunset. When the sun is beaming into my lens, I get a green dot. And I have a fix for it. It's not the best. But basically, you line up the dot into the sun and it disappears. I went to Apple and I say, what do we do about this? How can we fix it? And they said, tilt the camera. Keep moving. Okay? Which is the same thing that I've been saying a lot. Just you know, you'll get it right. If Mark doesn't look good that way, he'll look good the other way. Um, and give oh, it a Mark try. always looks good. Well, he does always look good. <laughs> wow. Uh, the you know, amount of I'll, sucking up around here at the end of the year is quite, quite impressive. Yeah, I'm okay, no go fool. Ahead. I ain't nobody's fool. <laughs> okay. So no, you Mark have to keep, keep the camera moving. Keep the camera keep moving. Keep the camera moving. Point. Keep the face moving. First thing I do is I look at you and look at how the light is on your face, and I'll move you around until we get it just right uh, because there's, there's four angles, right? There's front and sides and back, and one of those is going to look pretty good. <laughs> well, that seems like a basic tip. But maybe one that would, you know, escape you if you didn't know it. So no, number two, which has escaped you, is to use the volume button on the side of the phone as your shutter. And I'll give you two reasons why. First of all, modern phones are now water resistant. If you're going on vacation in a few days and you're going to jump into a pool, you can do that with these phones. What? Yes, you can. I uh, wouldn't, though. I would be too scared. Oh, I've my done it. God, I've Jeff. done it. I, I have a video. It's up on PhotoWalks TV. Of, uh, I went to Palos Verdes and shot all the stuff un under a pool, you know, in a pool. Um, and it looks great. And it's, it's wonderful. But you can't make the touchscreen operate. It won't, won't respond to you. But yeah. you it's can the use the volume button. Right? The volume yeah. button you can do. And then if you're going to ah. do if you're going to jump in the water, put it on video, and then then you'll you'll be running. The other that's, thing. Uh, wait, 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 wait. That's a great hack you just gave us. Thank you. Because when I even when I wash my screen or wipe it down, all of a sudden it becomes uh, I can't get it to do anything. But yeah. you're saying that's by design. But the side buttons, the volume buttons, will still work. Yes. Can and they the, be uh, used at all? To, and and I'm so so let me just. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit slow. Okay. So. <laughs> When the when you jump into the pool, which you know again, I'm with Kim, kind of like a little bit uh, risky, but all right. When you're around that kind of environment and the water's on the front of the lens, what does the volume 
button do? What do they do in terms of taking a picture? Or uh, sorry, it, go ahead. It snaps the shutter. It does. Yes. I didn't know that. And then the did other you know thing, that, Mark, Kim? Kim, did you I, know that? I did because I've done it by accident. I see. So <laughs> yeah. what happens with my phone is I have a million pictures of my home screen or all the icons on my phone because I scrolled <laughs> too tight and I took a random screenshot or whatever. So yeah, that's great. The other thing, Mark and yes, Kim, sir. is it's supposed to rain soon. Yeah. There's nothing cooler than rain shots in Los Angeles and San Francisco and all over the place. The first thing, if you're out early in the morning, uh, you, you'll get the reflections, the colorful reflections uh, on the oh, city sure. streets. And it looks amazing. And our phones are water resistant. And you could just run around town taking pictures on your phone and use the shutter button. The other thing the shutter button will do, the volume button, is it goes into burst mode. Uh, it, you have to adjust it in settings. But I can take pictures of Mark and Kim running down the street really fast and just hold the button down, hold the volume button down and get 30 shots of them. And that's a really great way to stop the action. Oh, that is uh, coming in from Ren. What was the Ren question? Uh, how can I get holiday lights to show up brightly when photos are taken at night? The phone mutes the brightness and makes the pictures look much less spectacular. She's right. The thing about the um, the phones is that they're automatic and they're great and they get things right 90% of the time. Uh, sometimes they don't get it right and you have to go adjust the exposure. You can do that in the menu settings. Uh, you have two stops and two stops meaning you go up, you go down. And I would just up the exposure all the way to get the lights to look right. And then the other thing you could do is is edit the photo afterwards and you can uh -huh. boost the exposure that way. Uh, let me ask you about something where you, uh, and if this is the same thing, because it might be easier or maybe it's harder. I don't know. You guys can tell me. But when you... Uh, feel as though it's not like in Ren's case, getting the exposure that she wants for those lights, you can take your finger, you can hold it on the uh, image, and then you can just move and you'll see a little thing show up a little uh, almost slider, and you can slide it down and up. Now that's the same thing as going into the menu and adjusting the exposure? Or, yeah, or is it, yeah okay. I find that going into the menu works better. But you can okay. also do the thing with your okay. finger. And it goes back to tip number one, keep moving keep tilting, keep mm. angling that phone until it gets right, because one of those angles is going to do it for you. And maybe you're too far away. Maybe you should get closer. Try a close-up. All right. So uh, I think that was at least two two tips we've done. <laughs> All right. So okay, give me the third, please. Uh, shoot video and photos at the same time. There will be situations where you can't move fast enough. I was just in Palm Desert where I went to this wonderful zoo called the Living Desert, and there was a jaguar, believe it or not, and he was patrolling and walking up and down occasionally, and you couldn't move as fast as he could, but you could shoot a very nice video clip. The iPhone has a white button above the record button that lets you shoot stills while you're recording video. And I believe something like that's on the Galaxy, though I couldn't find it this morning, but I will find it, I promise. Uh, the, and then if you don't do it that way, you could always do a still frame, a, a screenshot of the video le later. So uh, two weeks ago, they had fireworks in Manhattan Beach where I live, and it was just too hard to keep on trying to get the photo right. Just let the video roll, which is really cool, and then get a still frame from that. What do you guys think? No, I think that's a that's such a great hack. That's such a you know so straightforward. You're right, uh, and, and I love. I also love. Sorry to interrupt, Kim, but I was just going to say I love that you can do that after the fact too, because oftentimes you go, gosh, I, you know, I I don't want to screw the image up by you know hitting this thing or hitting that thing. So you can always do it after the fact, and you can still frame it afterward. Yeah, just be sure to go into edit. When you edit the photo, you'll, you'll, there'll be borders that get applied to the screenshot. Take them out in the editing by hitting the crop tool. Oh, okay. That's good. What did you have, Kim? Sorry. Oh, I was going to say two things about that. Uh, first of all, that's why I switched from a Google Pixel to this iPhone because of that feature. Because I take a lot of videos and pictures at kids' events, plays and things. And sometimes I really want to video it but I don't want to stop the video to take a picture. So to have that capability has been really, really good for me. I use it a lot. Yeah, I think you're, you're, uh, is it your daughter is in Mary Poppins? 
uh, it's over now, but yeah, she was. Okay. Wow. So, look at like, you, Jefferson Graham, know, knowing the knowledge. Impressive. <laughs> I'd want it. I would be video first. Mm -hmm. I would want to get the entire number and some stills. And uh, so it's either bring two phones or do it the, the, the way that right. I mentioned today, right? Yeah. This is uh, this is really good stuff, but I can't let you uh, really. And I, I don't know if you're seeing the chat at all, but you'll see if you go back and look. Everybody is trying what you're doing right now. Uh, there's there suge your suggestions are being implemented immediately. Yeah, and they're all really excited uh, about it. So thank you for providing these. By the way, for New Year's Eve pictures, not that you have to be. And I think the weather is going to be kind of funky for New Year's Eve anyway, but that you have to be at a party or a gathering, but just to, you know, for New Year's Eve or birthdays or whatever, or just, you know, around with a friend and you want to take a picture. Um, I like the live feature that they have where you, it gets a few frames on either side because if somebody has their eyes closed or, you know, for the instant that there's the shutter release, this gives you a little wiggle room. Don't you, Jeff, do you use okay, that as so well? The live feature is the best unsung tool on the iPhone. Okay, and that's that's iPhone specific. Uh, it was in, it was uh, I think unleashed about five years ago as a way of giving you three seconds of video with your photo, right. and they'll pick the photo, but you can go in afterwards, hit the edit button, and they go into live, and you could select the frame, and that's really cool. Know that. which is, okay, which Mark yeah, is it's the about. best. It's the best. And, but it can also you could take pictures of the ocean and turn the water into this silky flowing water that's out of this world. You can take it to France, as I did recently, and make people disappear that are standing in front of the Eiffel Tower. You can uh, get cars streaking down the street as, as for, you know, little colors, uh, which is a lot of fun. There's so many things you could do with it, and it's free. Yeah, it, it, it's awesome, uh, and uh, I know we're running out of time. Okay, let me let me get to. Um, I was going to just tell you, I was on a a vacation, and they had this. Uh, just they had a Jefferson Graham kind of guy. That's the way he was advertised there. He was going to give you tips on, and I love what you just said. That's why this is this story is related to that. That's the best unsung uh, t um, uh, feature of uh, iPhone, and so he's going to give you tips and kind of do what Jeff does here, and. He goes, oh, so this is this and blah, 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 this is that. And these are most of the people are people I would say that are not really hip to the technology. And he said, and, um, somebody asked, what's the live feature? And he said, oh, that's really just a video thing. He said, you don't really need it. You can just disable it. And, I, and I'm what? thinking, are you kidding? That's the best thing on there when you're <laughs> taking a picture. You're out of your mind. So I reluctantly raised my hand and I said, I don't know. I use the live pic feature and then I explained, you know, how it's good for photos. I didn't even know the, the Paris stuff that, that Jeff did with the live feature is really cool. You'll have to go back and see it. Yeah. But it's amazing how you say it. It's not well-known it's a hidden feature that really is a great tool when taking pics yeah, yeah. it's wonderful all right um, what are you gonna play, uh, you gonna uh, play uh, for I, us i just want to say that my newsletter this weekend i'll have a whole bunch of tips um uh, beyond three so be sure to subscribe and, and read and uh and, and hit me up with any questions i'm gonna play my favorite new year's eve song i love it here we go Ladies and gentlemen, put it together for Jefferson Grant, everyone. Come on, Jefferson Graham. Love it. Good stuff. Thank you. See Jefferson happy New Graham. Year. Yeah, happy, happy New, New Year, Year to you, happy my New friend. Year Thanks to for you. being such a great friend to this show. We appreciate it very much. Yeah. Uh, love your visits and love the information. Uh, you're really someone who always elevates the show. So I appreciate you being here. Thanks, Jefferson.